Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as you know, um, South Australia's Task Force Mallee has been investigating the death of a little girl who we now know to be Candelise Pearce since July 2015 when her skeletal remains were found on the highway at Wanaka. That investigation subsequently identified um, Candelise and obviously her mother Carly as being the uh, young woman whose body had been found in the Belangolo Forest in 2010 as well. Um, that death had been investigated by New South Wales Strike Force Malaya and um, once the link was made between the two cases, uh, Task Force Mallee and Strike Force Malaya worked in a joint investigation. Um, we'd been supported by um, law enforcement agencies from across Australia and um, ever since we started we've had uh, tremendous community support. In October, a 41-year-old inmate from Cessnock Prison was charged with the murder of Carly and since that time the investigations continued. That culminated this morning in the arrest and charging of that person with the murder of Candelise and it's likely that he'll appear in the Parramatta Court later this afternoon. Um, as I said, the investigation has been extremely challenging and an intense investigation that's spanned a long period of time. Um, but as I say, we've had tremendous support from across the country. From this point forward, New South Wales Police will have ultimate responsibility for preparation of the brief of evidence and managing the prosecution through the court system in New South Wales. However, South Australian Police Task Force Mallee will continue to work very closely with New South Wales Police to support their investigation and help as much as we can in the preparation of the brief of evidence. Again, I'd like to thank, take this opportunity to thank anybody who's contributed in any way whatsoever to this investigation and that support um, has been instrumental in helping us to solve this case. I'm happy to take some questions. Is there any clear indication of um, when and where each of the victims was murdered? Um, well, certainly um, um, Carly in the forest um, back in 2008 and we will be alleging that uh, Candelise was murdered in the days following that, most likely in New South Wales. Can you run through how you came to, um, to this now? How was this arrest made now? Did he cooperate with you? What was I, I can't go into what he said, but um, we were certainly fortunate in this, pl this case that the suspect was already in custody and, and obviously for that reason didn't pose a risk to community safety at the moment. So that enabled us the opportunity to conduct a very thorough and comprehensive investigation. So um, that's why we didn't have to rush to charge him with Candelisa's murder and it gave us the opportunity um, to really do a lot of work and prepare a good brief of evidence. So how do you, how do you know that Candelise was murdered in New South Wales and, and where? Now, how do you think she came to be in South Australia? I, I can't go into the circumstances of um, what the evidence might be, except to say that we're satisfied that um, Carly was murdered in New South Wales, and uh, New South Wales Police will allege that Candelise was murdered in New South Wales, and that her body was dis disposed of in South Australia. But I, I can't tell you any more than that at the moment. But you do certainly have um, evidence or an understanding of how you think uh, the murder came to be in South Australia. Is that right? Yeah, we, we, we believe we have a very good understanding of what has happened and that will all come out in due course. Did he have help? Do you believe that he had help? Um, at this stage, he's the only person that's been charged um, with her murder. So do you believe that he um, dumped the remains of Candlelight on the side of the uh, highway? Yes. How's the broad side of the investigation progressing? You previously said a woman was um, impersonating Carly. 